this after effects tutorial is brought to you by Rans graphics this is randy and if you guys have a memorable moments that you wanted to put it into a slideshow either if it's still images or video clips i think this tutorial is good for you so let me show you the slideshow that we are gonna be making today So we are now inside After Effects. All I have to do is to go to File and Import File. I just want to import my file first. So I'm gonna choose this Assets and Import Folder. And then go to Composition. And I will create a new composition. First I'm gonna show you how to create my intro, okay? So I will name this one Intro. 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and the duration is 6 seconds click ok open the image folder go to elements I will just drag down this wood texture as my background click S on my keyboard for the scale adjust the size of your texture I will just rename this as BG or background Next, I'm gonna go to my elements and drop down this image. Go back to your project panel and drop down this parallel image here. I think that's good enough. Go to your project panel, close this one, and open the footage. Drop down this butterfly footage in your timeline. Go to effects and preset, perspective and drop shadow i just want this drop shadow to be a hundred percent go and grab your pen tool and type best memorable press p on your keyboard for the position just drag it a bit on the left side and move it down a bit. I'm using Juliet of one regular at 150 pixel size. Next, I'm gonna highlight this one and duplicate it. I will press P on my keyboard for the position, drag it on the right side. And then I will change the text here. I want this change moments slideshow. Go back to your project panel and drop down this laurel alpha. Press P on your keyboard for the position. Drag it on the left side. Drag it down a bit. Press S on my keyboard for the scale. Scale it down to 50%. And press P on your keyboard for the position. Drag it on the left side. I also want to highlight this layer and change the paragraph alignment to the center. Drag it on the right side. And also this text here. I will also change the paragraph alignment. Drag it on the right side. Make sure that the floral footage is highlighted. Go to effects and preset. Perspective drop shadow. I just want the drop shadow here. 
and then I will highlight it again go to edit duplicate it and I want to press P on my keyboard for the position and drag it on the right side and then I will go back to my project panel and I will choose this light leak drag it down to my timeline press T on my keyboard for the opacity and make the value here 30% I will also change the blending mode to add I will also animate this text so I will go to about 1 second highlight this best memorable text press T on my keyboard for the opacity make this 0 hit a stopwatch in here to create a keyframe for the animation and go for about two seconds and make this value 100 highlight this moment slideshow move back your player to about one second and 15 frames make the value here zero and hit the stop button here to create a keyframe move your playhead to about 2 seconds and 15 frames and make this value here 100 I will go back to my text and highlight it and go to effects and preset go to perspective I will just add drop shadow opacity 100% and I will copy this drop shadow highlight this best memorable text I will paste it so now we are done with the intro we will go now to the scene one since we are done with our intro I will go and create a couple of compositions first I will create composition and I will name it scene one 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second 6 seconds duration click OK and I will again go to composition and create a new composition and I will name it segment 1 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and 6 seconds duration I will click OK and I will go again to composition and I will create a new composition and I will name it placeholder 1 click OK and I will again create a new composition I will name it a frame click OK create new solid and I will change the color here to white I will click OK and I will go to my shape tool and create a mask by double clicking my mouse and again I will change this to rounded rectangle and draw a rectangle here and make it at the center and go to your mask to change the mask to from add to subtract I will go to my placeholder one go to my project panel open the assets go to image open the photos and drop the image one here on my timeline press S on my keyboard and shift P for the position first I will scale it down and drag it down a bit and I will open the segment 1 create a new composition and I will name it media 1 click OK I will drop my placeholder 1 and the frame I will put it on top of the placeholder 1 so now as you can see photos have been framed I will go to my project panel and highlight this placeholder 1 duplicate this by clicking ctrl D on your keyboard three times highlight the placeholder 2 to 4 open it up by double clicking your mouse and change the images in here click P for the position and shift S on your keyboard for the scale scale this down I will just drag it up a bit then go to placeholder 3 and delete this image and replace it with your image 3 here drag it down to your timeline press again P on your keyboard for the position and shift S for the scale and scale it down 
I think this is good enough. I don't need to move it up or down. So I will just go to my placeholder tool and delete this image and go to my project panel and drop down this image too. Click P on my keyboard for the position and shift S for the scale. I will first scale it down like this and drag it down a bit. I will go to my project panel and highlight this media one and I will duplicate it three times by clicking Ctrl D and then I will open the media 2 to 4 double click my mouse to open it up I will first open this media 2 and highlight this placeholder one here click Alt and hold it go to my project panel and highlight this placeholder 2 and replace the placeholder 1 to placeholder 2 and I will open the media 3 same I will highlight the placeholder 1 and go to my project panel and drag this placeholder 3 to replace the placeholder 1 same also with the media 4 now we are in the segment so all I have to do is to drop down all the media from positions into my timeline press S for the scale on my keyboard make this 50% I will go to my project panel and drop down this texture as my background press S on your keyboard to scale it down I'll just make it probably 27 yeah that's good and I like this media compositions and I will press P for the position and shift R for the rotation move one by one randomly move the media to and I will rotate it so I will also go back to my project panel and go to my elements folder and I will drag this element just above the photo texture we have I will right away pre-compose it limit element 10 still and Move all the attributes to the new composition. Click P on your keyboard for the position and Shift R for the rotation. I will drag this element on this side and rotate it. And then I will duplicate this element by clicking Ctrl D. I will press P on my keyboard for the position and Shift R for the rotation. Then drag it on the left side. make this rotation zero and then go again to my project panel and drop down these petals just above the media compositions and I will close this media compositions and I will right away pre-compose it move all the attributes into the new composition I will just click OK I will press S on my keyboard scale it down to about 50% I will highlight it again and press P on my keyboard for the position Shift R for the rotation I will just drag this image on the right side drag it down and rotate it I think that should be good enough and I will duplicate this pedal image press, press P on your keyboard for the position and Shift R for the rotation probably I will just randomly place this on this side I guess drag it down then I will duplicate it again press P on your keyboard for the position and shift R for the rotation I will move this image up and rotate it this way Highlight the media one, go to effects and preset, find distort, cc page turn. I will move it down. Create a keyframe by clicking this fold position and I will just move it like this. And the back page must be none. And then move my playhead forward to about one second. Move this back. Make sure that the petal is not on the top of the image where the folding portion is. 
happening click p on your keyboard for the position and ja drag it down let's see if we will scrub our playhead we will also drag this one up I will just copy this page turn effect. I will right click my mouse, copy it, highlight this page too, and paste it. Highlight the petal and I will move it this side, I guess. Press you on the keyboard to see the keyframes. Move this so that there will be a variation. Highlight the media 3 and again. Paste the effect to see the keyframes. Just press U on your keyboard, and to have a variation on it, just move the keyframes. I think that should be good enough. So, when we scrub our playhead, so now I will grab my text tool and type moments are inevitable. align my text if you can see the align here just go to windows and check the alignment i will align it horizontally press p on my keyboard for the position i will just drag it up and i will probably just move my text on this side i will go to effects and preset go to perspective drop shadow i will just make this drop shadow 100 percent i will close it Double switch is mode in here and I will make these compositions a 3D layer. I will open the scene 1 folder and I will drop down the segment 1 on my timeline. I will toggle the switches mode in here. I will enable the 3D layer mode. Go to layer, new and I will create a new camera. I'm using a 2 node 50mm preset camera. Click OK and I will go back to layer and create a null object. I will make this null object a 3D layer and I will parent the camera to the null object. Press P on your keyboard for the position and Shift R for the rotation. So here we will try to manipulate the movement of our camera. So it's nice to look at in terms of angle and position. So all I have to do is to zoom it out a bit. then. Go back to the segment, go to effects and preset, go to a stylize and motion tile. I will highlight this photo texture here, disable the 3D layer and go to effects and preset, go to a stylize and motion tile. I want the output width to only 500 and the output height is 500. enable the 3d layer and i will move the text by pressing p on my keyboard for the position and i will just drag it up drag it on the other side here so it's center according to my vision go back to scene one composition so now i'm ready to animate the camera enable the collapse transformation switch Press P on your keyboard for the position and Shift R for the rotation. I will change the X rotation like this. And I will move these images closer a bit to the camera. I will create a keyframe on the beginning of my timeline. Hit the stopwatch on the position and the X rotation. If you want to, you can also click the Y rotation and just maybe rotate it a bit. And then move at the end of your timeline maybe, or maybe just change this Y rotation to zero. And the X rotation, change it to zero. 
to the position and change the x y and z values depending on your preference so as you can see in here that the text is on top of the picture just move it on the right side a bit so that it will not be in the way okay so i will go back to segment so press p on your keyboard for the position and i will move it the right side and let's see what happens here there you go it's not on top of the image next i want to show you guys how i organize my project okay so i will go back to my project panel and create a new folder and i will name it intro I will open the assets folder and drag this intro composition to my intro folder and also this element and the petals I will highlight the scene one and rename it main one create a new folder highlight this folder and rename it I will name it scene one I will highlight these compositions drag it down to my scene one folder Create another folder and I will name it scene 2. I will highlight these compositions. Go to edit and duplicate it. Drag it down to the scene 2 folder. Go to composition. Create new composition. I will name it scenes. 30 frames per second and 18 seconds duration. I will click OK and I will go open the intro folder. Drop it down to my timeline. I will move my playhead the 6 seconds duration and I will drop down this main one composition and the intro must be at the bottom and I highlight this main one press open bracket key to move it drag down this main two composition on top of the main one move your playhead to about 12 seconds press open bracket key to move the layer so now we are ready to render it so i will change first the resolution to quarter so it's faster to render and move my playhead at the beginning to render it just play this so now our tutorial is over for today and i hope guys that i help you and please help me with my channel press the thumbs up to like it and comments if you have questions and share it to your friends if you want and for those people who are new in this channel please subscribe press the notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified if i am uploading video tutorials in the coming days okay my thoughts for today guys is that fill your mind with lots of information so that in the coming days this information will be a tool for you to use to decide what is right okay so thank you guys for watching and I will see you on my next tutorial. God bless.